day after day, creation speaks to us. Night after night, it utters and pours forth knowledge. Wow, what an amazing morning. I'm looking for the light, but there's so much darkness. It's like the prophet said, I see the morning coming, but also the night. It's like even the pelicans are disturbed today. Looks like the powers of darkness are wrestling with the powers of light. Maybe today you're having a struggle and disturbed about all those things that are happening around about you. Listen to what the Apostle Paul said in Ephesians chapter 6. A final word. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the whole armour of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armour of God, that you may be able to withstand in that evil day. This series has been about the power of one. I haven't planned this day, but a picture tells a thousand words. And this is how it is in Malulabar, Queensland, Australia. And it's happening all over the world. And the power of one is about one choice that you may have to make. And that's about living in darkness or living in the light. Jesus said, if you follow me, you will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. When Jesus came to this earth, it was said that those that sat in darkness saw a great light. And those that were abiding in the shadow of death, light has come. And today, if we have Jesus living in our heart, we have the light, we're walking in the light. Praise God for the good news of Jesus Christ and that we are now delivered from the powers of darkness and put into the glorious light of His kingdom. Psalm 68, let God arise. He's already begun to arise. Let God arise in your heart. Let your enemies be scattered. Yes, as the day star arises in your heart, and the presence of God increases in your life. All those things that he hates, and you hate, they'll flee before you. And as smoke is driven away, he'll drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked things perish at the presence of the Lord. Yes, it's your choice, it's your decision to follow him. And then as we walk in the light, He is in the light. Then we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ continually cleanses us from all of our sins. The Bible says the path of the just, those that have been justified, gets brighter and brighter and brighter under the perfect day. Yes, it's all about the power of one today. It's that one choice. One choice, you can walk in the light or abide in the darkness. But as many as received him, he gives them the power to become the children of God. Then your days will become lighter and brighter. You saw the dark, heavy clouds this morning on the horizon. But now we can see the sun getting brighter and brighter. We urge you today to get your eyes off the situations and problems. Make a decision to make a new focus and focus on the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, you can walk the walk and talk the talk. And praise be to God, we give Him all the glory. Thanks for joining us today at Spill and Rosalie Furler. God really bless you and have a wonderful week.